I don't know. It's kind of hard to describe myself. I was. Um, we did a. Um, we did a Hawaiian national Hawaii National Bank commercial that airs every so often. There, they had me say, "I am an entrepreneur," and I, was like, I fought. Uh, I, I'm sorry, but I fought that lady. I was like, "I don't want to say that. No, I don't want. That's weird. Why are you going to call yourself something? It's up to the person watching. It's up to the spectator to give you that title, not yourself." So in that vein, I can't really call myself anything. It'd be awesome if I could call myself a designer or a um, hula dancer or practitioner. Um, but it is really difficult to, dis to describe myself in the Western context. And a lot of times, like going to New York Fashion Week or something, it's hard to put myself into one little capsule. So a lot of times I just tell people I make Aloha shirts. Uh, I, would, I think my dad's definitely the bigger risk taker. Um, I'm kind of conservative when it comes to certain things, like even in, if you take it to, on a small level, choosing colors for an Aloha shirt. I'm so safe. I'm like black with gray with a hint of orange, perfect. I ran into people that spoke the same language as me, but in that same vein, didn't because um, that's when I really started to figure out how special the culture that we have here, how special it is. Because I would simply like go up to people and tell them my name, like Kuhao or something, and they would tell me that their name's Joe, like or what, not anything against Joes or anything, but um, I would tell them Kuhao and they'd be like, oh, what kind of name is that? Like, oh, what does it mean? And be like, that means rain from clear sky. And then they would like start reflecting upon their own name. And like, I don't mean to do that or anything, but then I started to really like realize that, you know, what we have in Hawaii is really a treasure. And how do we, how do I translate that into design?